Welcome to Jamaica. Come on. This is Kingston, Jamaica, and I'm John Haggins, the Globe Prada. I'm standing here in Emancipation Park. Behind me are the two statues which represent the emancipation of 1962, where all of Jamaicans share their freedom today. It's a wonderful tribute. The Courtly Hotel and Resort offers a great aerial view of Kingston and has a variety of suites with an outdoor pool to cool your heels. I'm here with Mark Decrinas. One of our specials today, this is Mediterranean chicken breaded with panko and stuffed with black olives and served with a tomato basil sauce. If you had to define your style, what have you brought to the Jamaican cooking? I'm thinking of a beef tenderloin that we've rubbed with Chinese five spice and Jamaican Blue Mountain coffee. So you take that Asian five spice flavor and the Blue Mountain coffee, you rub it down and marinate the tenderloin and that, roast it and slice it and serve it with the same sauce. When you say That's ja jam Asian cuisine. Jam Asian, is this a word you've come up with? That's a word that, uh, that I was introduced to when I came to Jamaica. The Jamaica Pegasus is the tallest building in Kingston. It's 17 floors high and the rooftop is a garden where we have lots of events. We like to talk about the Pegasus as Grand Central Station because it's a place where things happen in Kingston. And the sunshine is brilliant every single day. My name is Veerle Poupeye, and I'm the executive director of the National Gallery. The National Gallery of Jamaica was established in 1974. This is a work by Jamaican master painter Barrington Watson. Um, it is typically one of his grand academic works, larger in scale, and it depicts a scene that many of those who have been to the countryside or who live in the countryside along the coastal areas will have seen. I'm David Boxer, the former director of the gallery, but currently the chief curator and in fact the principal curator of this exhibition, Young Talent. I actually curated 10 of the artists, the 14 artists in this exhibition. Uh, we're standing in front of one of my favorite abstract painters. Not all modern Jamaican artists deal with the figure and the vital figure. Some of them are dealing with abstraction. And this is young man, Oliver Mary, a graduate of the Edna Manley College. The National Gallery of Jamaica has always been part of the avant-garde. We have a, a gallery of the, the founder of the Jamaican art movement, the great sculptor Edna Manley. And we have a whole gallery devoted to her work. Jamaica is famous for its music and so on. Uh, our art is, is quieter, it's, it, it's, it's more reflective. When I think of Jamaica, I think of, oh, the most delicious jerk. Jerk chicken, jerk pork. In Kingston, we have the original way of preparing it on this wood. Now tell me exactly where I'm standing. Well, right now, you are at Sweetwood Jerk Joint in Kingston. And this is the original way that you prepare the jerk portions, which is pork, and what else do you have here? Ah, uh, this is pork now. And it's all smoked for yes. a very long time? Yes, uh, like the pork from three hours on the grill. Most delicious. And it's ready, well tender, well juicy. And well spicy. Delicious. Lots of spice. And that's what Jamaica is known for, its yes, spices. The, spice. the Belvedere Great House sits on top of Hi, a hill. Hi, my name is Mildred and I take care of all the dining area and the entrance hall. Over here is Sir Francis Cardright and Lady Cardright. As you can see, they are the owner for this property. It's a very old house. It was built in 1735. This book is recorded in the 18th and the 19th century. You record the names of slaves, the wages, and the bank that they invest their money in. This is a four-poster bed. It is handmade by the slaves who were taught by cabinet makers from England. This is a bed warmer. You see, I have to put some hot coal here, place it down, and put it on a bed cover. My name's Lucy Bucknell. Uh, I work here at Belfield Great House. Jerk was a style of cooking that was actually um, perfected by the Maroons. These are the ingredients that go into the jerk spice. You've got a scallion, garlic, onion, thyme, very, very spicy scotch bonnet, which gives it the kick. Um, and of course, ginger. We went to the JSPCA, of course, we chose the healthy dogs. 
dogs that were fit, because the JSPCA, when they take in the, these dogs, if they find no home for them, they put them to sleep. Each dog has their own file with their medical records. And they get the best care, regular meals, regular water, and of course their exercise. And they look forward to going out on the trips. Whenever they realize that a tour is going to be on, they get all excited. Like Jamaica! D, D, D. Good girl, good girl! Uh -oh. Here comes the big Let's car! Go. Let's go! This is the money show. Whoa. 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 Let's go. Good boy. Come on, Zesty. Let's go. Good boy. Bush. <laughs> The island village in Ocho Rios is a fun destination with lots of entertainment and shopping where you can drop your last dime. Ships dock nearby and visitors can get a brief taste of Jamaica and vendors sell their wares on the beach. You know, this is really what I call a luxury property. It's the Royal Plantation in Ocho Rios and it's where you can come and relax and have the best time and you have butlers. It's service with a smile. My name is Peter Fraser, general manager of this fantastic resort, the Royal Plantation, located in, in Ocherius on the north coast of the island. We have been around for quite a long time. Actually, the hotel opened in 1957. And over the years, we saw a great many people pass through these hallowed halls. Uh, Winston Churchill, Noel Coward, and all the celebrities of that era. The Royal Plantation is a 74-room, um, all suite hotel. All rooms are oceanfront and the hotel is located on a bluff right above the, what we refer to as Ocho Rios Riviera, this fantastic beach uh, in front of us. And the hotel actually sits above two private white sand coves. And um, the, the hotel is the only one in Jamaica that's all butler. And when you arrive on this long driveway, it has such an interesting feeling as you arrive and then once you step out of the car you see automatically right through the front desk of the lobby, right through the terrace of the dining room, you have this commanding view of the ocean. You know here at the Royal Plantation in Ocho Rios, the fruit is homegrown, it's so fresh, it's so succulent. I'm sitting here in early morning, the sun is shining, the swells of the sea, this is heaven, it's living. I love it and service is what it's all about. The Royal Plantation is a perfect place to enjoy the pleasures of life. The Royal Plantation is a peaceful environment with the best views of Jamaica Bay. Fishermen are returning with the catch of the day as the day comes to a close at the Royal Plantation. We've got the sun, we've got the sea, we've got Sandals Resort. What else can you ask for? This is the real thing, Jamaica! Sandals offers a variety of water sports to participate in, such as kayaking, sailing, and snorkeling. We started out as a whirlwind tour. We started in Kingston, and then we came into Ocho Rios, and now in Mobe. It's a celebration of life. Until next week, I'm John Haggins, the Globetrotter. Remember, get up, get out, and travel! Stay tuned next week for more experiences from around the world.